<clears throat> in video number seven, we talked about the um, mechanics of matrix multiplication. In this video, we have a few more things to say about that subject, so we'll call this uh, video uh, 7A. The playlist for all the videos, incidentally, is at the website digital-university.org. Okay, here we're multiplying together um, two matrices. Uh, they're just each two by two, so very simple, very straightforward. And we can see the multiplied matrix that we get is this. Again, by doing exactly what we did in the previous video. To get the first element here, we go across the first row and down the first column and add as we go along AE plus BG. And then to get the second part of the row, we go again across and down CE plus DG and so forth. And that gives us A times B gives us C, the multiplied matrix, just as we did in the previous video. But let's look at our columns here um, of our multiplied matrix more closely. Here we have E, C, E, A. So what we have is E times the column A, C. And here we have D, G, D, G. So here we have G times the second column, B, D. So let's rewrite this and see if there's yet another way that we can think of of how to multiply matrices together. So we have our two matrices. And we say, well, it looks like our multiplied matrix C is going to be the first element here times the first row here. So we have E, A, C, plus, now we have this times the second column, B, D. And together, this is the first column of our second of our multiplied matrix. Now, to get the second column, we think, well, it's probably going to be then F times this first column plus H times the second column. So these together are the first column of our multiplied matrix. These together comprise the second column of our multiplied matrix. We have F times AC, and we have H times BD. So here's another way to think of multiplying matrices. We're multiplying two matrices together. The columns that we have in the multiplied matrix are simply linear combinations of our matrix A. Linear combinations in this way. We start here, this element times the first column plus this element times the second column plus this element times the first column and this element times the second column. So the columns of our multiplied matrix are just simply linear combinations of the columns of matrix A. Now let's look again at, uh, at matrix C. And let's look at it in terms of the rows that comprise it. Here we have E, F, multiplied by A. Well, that would be A times this row vector. And here we have 
G B G B H. So we have G H multiplied by B. Well, G H is this row vector here. So the first row in our multiplied matrix is this times this row plus this times this row. So let's write it out again, our matrix multiplication. We have A, B, C, D, E, G, F, H, Okay, now it looks like for the row, for the rows of our multiplied matrix, it's going to be this times this row plus this times this row. So we have A times row EF plus B times row G H. Then the second row of our multiplied matrix, E F times C. This times this row plus this times this row. So we have C E F plus D, G, H. So here are, get it all into focus at once if we can, here are the rows of our multiplied matrix. We have A, E plus A, F. A, E plus A, F. Then we have B, G plus B H B G plus B H. Here we have C E plus C F. That comes from here. And then we have D G plus D H. That comes from here. So we're multiplying two matrices together. We can think of the rows of our multiplied matrix. They are linear combinations of matrix B. So if we're going to multiply two matrices together, we can think of it in terms of this operation. This times this row plus this times this row gives us the first row of our multiplied matrix. This times this row plus this times this row gives us the second row of our multiplied matrix. So here are three different ways then of thinking how to do matrix multiplication and of course they all give us the same answer as they're supposed to but it's interesting that when we're thinking of doing a relatively standard operation multiply matrices together there's several different ways that we could interpret that um, that operation. All of them, of course, give us the same answer. This is just our standard approach, going across the rows and down the columns and adding up as we go along. Now here we're thinking of, well, for our, our multiplied matrix, it is a linear combination of these columns, so that the multiplied matrix is going to be this, times the first column, plus this times the second column, and so forth. Or, we can think of our multiplied matrix in terms of rows, and when we think of it like that, these rows here in the multiplied matrix are linear combinations of matrix B. So now we can think of the matrix multiplication, the mechanics of it, like this. It's this element times this row plus this element times this row together comprise 
the first row of our multiplied matrix, and then this element times this row plus this element times this row gives us the second row of our multiplied matrix. So there are here are three different ways of thinking how to multiply matrices together. And of course, again, um, each way they give us the same answer. What we'll do in the next video is we're going to think again, look at more closely here at uh, multiplying matrices. What we want to think about um, from what we established in this video is that when you have a row vector, times a matrix, that means then that we're multiplying from the left. We can see that from here, from this answer. If, for example, we had, say, matrix EF like this, and we're going to multiply it by a row, the row is AB. If you're going to multiply it by a row, here's matrix E, F, G, H. We're going to multiply it by a row, A, B. If we're going to do that, we have to do it from the left now. And what does that equal? That equals A times this row. Plus B times this row. just as we did right up here. And of course this equals AE plus AF plus BG plus BH. But our take home lesson right now is that when you have a matrix and you want to multiply by a row, you multiply on the left. And you carry out the operation just as we did right up here. Same thing. This times this row plus this times this row, which will give us this expression. And of course, if you're going to multiply a matrix by a column here, then of course you multiply it on the right. And we can think of the multiplication as these multiplied together will be x1 times this column plus x2 times this column, plus x3 times this column. Or we can think of it as going across and down and adding up and so forth. Either way, it gives you the same answer. But again, if you're multiplying a matrix by a row, we have to do it from the left. So here we have a 3 by 3 matrix, multiplying it by this row, x1, x2, x3. Then it's going to be x1 times this row, plus x2 times this row, plus x3 times this row, giving us this expression right here. OK, this video is getting to be a little bit long. In the next video, we're going to continue our discussion on multiplying matrices from the left. And we'll still have a few more things that we'll have to talk about. But let's save that for the next video.